Okie dokie. In this video, I will go through a few different examples for 431A, very similar to 431D. So let's jump into it. I'll start with an example where they're asking for less than a certain amount. Then I'll do one for greater than a certain amount. Then I'll do one where they're asking for the specimen between two certain amounts. So starting with less than, again, very similar to 431D. Let's jump right into it. They give us the mean as 78, the standard deviation as 10, and then the sample size as 5,000. So we won't use the 5,000 until the very end, and I'll talk about why. Uh, so what we'll do first is really just find the probability of having less than 57 centimeters, or how many specimen have a height less than, yeah, you get the idea. So we'll do equals norm dist, and it's in this function that we want to input the x, the mean, standard deviation, then cumulative, in which or for, for which we will type a 1. So the x value is our data point 57, the mean is the 78, the standard deviation is the 10, and then cumulative is 1. So we'll close that off. This gives us the percentage that is less than 57%, the percentage of the whole sample, that is. So we take this percentage or this um, probability, eh, I like percentage more, percentage, and we multiply by the whole sample size. So we'll just do equals this times the sample size, that is 5,000. And just like that, it gives us 89. So 89 of the original 5,000 will have heights less than 57 centimeters. All right, let's go and do an example for which they're asking about greater than a certain amount. So we will still calculate the norm dist, but now for this data point 20. So 20 is our x, our mean in this case is 58, standard deviation is 14, and the cumulative is always one. This percentage, this percentage here, this point 0, 0.003, is the percentage that is less than 20. So we want the percentage that is greater than the 20. So what we do is equals one minus this value here. That gives us this 99.7%. So we're going to take this and multiply this by the sample size. So equals this times 5,000. And that gives us this 4983 which is our answer. So it's that many, or 4983, out of the initial 5,000 that have heights greater than 20, which makes sense, you know, logically, because if the mean is 58 centimeters, the mean height is 58, then they're asking how many have a height greater than 20. It's probably going to be just about all of these 5,000, right? So let's do one more example real quick. Go ahead and erase a lot of this. All right, so now we are finding the amount of specimen specimen that have heights between 42 and 223. So we will find the norm dist value for 223, then find the norm dist value for 42, then subtract the two values to get that percentage, and then we'll just multiply that by 3,000. All right, so let's jump into it. Same deal, we'll do 223 comma, the mean, that is 125, the standard deviation, that is 39, cumulative is 1, and we'll just plug this in all to the same equation here. So norm dist of 223 minus norm dist, whoops, norm dist of the 42, comma, 125, comma, 39, comma, 1. We hit enter, and this gives us that the percentage between these two points or the percentage of specimen that have heights between 42 and 223 is 97.7%. So we multiply this 97.7% by the sample size of 3,000. And we get this 2932 as our result. So it's that many specimen out of the initial 3,000 that have heights between these two values. All right. So to summarize, to find the amount less than, you find the norm dist value of 57, and then just multiply that by 5,000. 
for greater than, you find one minus the norm dist value and then multiply that by 5,000. For heights between two values, you find the norm dist of the greater value minus the norm dist of the smaller value. Then you multiply that by the sample size. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know.